Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to deep dive into ChatGPT, the cutting edge and most powerful AI language model on the market. And it was developed by OpenAI. So what exactly is ChatGPT? The answer is quite simple. It is the most advanced AI tool and machine learning engine at the moment. So it can do lots of amazing things for us and in order to help us to do anything we want pretty much. Well, as long as it is legal and it has some information on its database. And what I mean by that is we can interact with ChatGPT just like a conversation, a human conversation. So we can ask questions, we can tell ChatGPT to explain us some concepts or just to give us a recipe for a sandwich for example, and well, even more. And how was that possible? How did OpenAI make this thing work, which is kind of mind blowing? It was pretty hard, I would say, and extremely hard to be honest. But they created this software where they used the machine learning algorithms and they fed a lot of information, text, books, homepages, links, Wikipedia, and lots of other information, I believe up to 2021 or 2022. I don't remember exactly when they had the cutoff date, but based on this whole set of information, which is huge, ChatGPT is able to understand language just like a human understands. And another point is that after this massive training with this huge amount of data, ChatGPT is now able to keep learning. What I mean by that is every time we interact with ChatGPT, it learns from that interaction. So every single user that asks a question or gives a new sentence or tries to get something out of ChatGPT, ChatGPT will ingest that information and will add to its own library. So next time it can give a better answer and improve the answers over time. So about the applicability of ChatGPT, it has been already used in so many fields. For example, on customer services, chatbots, even helping students to write essays. And they even tried to use it as a some legal attorney but it didn't work <laughs> quite well because it's still in beta and there are lots of things that it needs to be trained on but there are so many applications that people are testing right now and they are quite interesting and now I'm gonna just run a quick demo here so let's take a look on our chat GPT this is chat GPT this is the user interface that OpenAI created so we can uh, interact with the ChatGPT engine because the engine is simply a kind of machine or set of machines that they can process the language and then give the answer back. But we need this UI in order to communicate with the engine. So I'm gonna just do something really simple here and quick. Let's say I need to buy groceries. Uh, where can I buy groceries? in Sydney and it's gonna take a look at its database and it's gonna give me some answer here which I can tell it is accurate so as I, I, as I live in Australia I live in Sydney I can buy my groceries at Coles, Woolworths or Woolies and Aldi, Harris Farm, IGA and that's all right so this is a list of supermarkets we have here in Australia and the information is quite accurate I can tell you but this example is quite simple we can do way more with ChatGPT. For example, I can ask ChatGPT to give me some ideas about how to create a birthday party for a 12 years old boy. So that's exactly what I'm gonna ask. So I want some ideas about a birthday party for a 12 years old boy. And again, ChatGPT is gonna ingest my question look inside its database and give me some ideas and it looks pretty good so the first thing is a video game party set up a game station with console and games and let the birthday boy and his friends enjoy playing together you could also include virtual reality games or multiplayer games that allow them to play against each other sports party host a sports themed party either at a park or indoors sports venue looks pretty good scavenger hunt movie night, cooking or baking party, not sure if, well, at least the majority of, of boys, they would be happy with this one, but it's also a possibility, and a pool party, so it's pretty good. Let's go a little bit deeper 
and let's say I'm a student and I want to write an essay about something. Let's start with something pretty generic. So write me an essay about word history. Something pretty generic here and then it's giving me the answer. So word history is the study of human civilization from the earliest times to present day. It covers a wide range of topics including political systems, cultural practices, social structures, and technology innovations and that have shaped out our world over time. The sort of uh, world history is important for many reasons. First, it helps us understand the past and how it has influenced the present. So, looks pretty good. Any student can just come here and ask now ChatGPT to give them a new essay or to solve an equation or whatever the person needs to get done. And now, in the version 4 here, which is the latest version for ChatGPT, I can see that the information is better than the previous version so or it's more accurate than the previous version so they modified the engine so it, it would give us a better answer or better responses to our queries and it's it looks really good and as amazing it is there are so many things that ChatGPT <laughs> cannot do for example if we ask the engine to find a way to make money for example say how to make money quickly and legally, which is very important. So yeah, okay, now we got our answer, which says while making money quickly can be a tempting prospect, it's important to remember that there are no mag magical solutions for earning money overnight unless you win the lottery. However, there are some legal and legitimate ways to make money quickly if you are willing to put in the effort and be resourceful. Here are some ideas. Sell items you no longer need, like a garage sale, that's totally legit. Freelance work, same thing. I can, as a software engineer, I can do freelancing work here, or edit videos or do whatever as a freelancer. Gig work, food delivery, ride share, Uber, Lyft, and so on. Online surveys, participate in focus groups, sell your skills. Looks really good. And the interesting thing is that it cannot answer extremely precise for those three key things, such as forcing the stock markets, for example. How can I get rich on the stock market? And it's gonna give me another pretty generic sentence here and yeah something like just research and do your homework and diversify your portfolio and so on and so forth but for the things that it can solve it's quite good and the majority of the time it's quite accurate although they have some messaging on the front page of the website saying okay i may generate something that is not accurate once in a while which Makes sense because they are still training the engine to learn more and to give better answers. Yeah, it takes time and money and a lot of resources as well. So in summary, that's it. ChatGPT is the most powerful and advanced AI language model that we have nowadays. And there are many companies that are backing this technology. For example, Elon Musk, he has started uh, this work with the OpenAI CEO and also Microsoft is also backing the project with money and also incorporating the ChatGPT technology inside Windows and many other products as well. So honestly, I'm extremely excited about this technology. I think that's going to be a leap on the human history and I believe there are so many things that it can be applied such as production lines, such as for cars production lines or food for fast food deliveries and also fast food making, medicine and well lots of other stuff. Cool. I hope you guys have enjoyed my video. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and also click on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos and I'll see you guys next time.